Well, hello to people who may be watching this. I have seven, seven subscribers, which is amazing. <laughs> and uh, a few other people that watch. Um, so I am just putting together a few items that were suggested by um, Thomas from Holy Kool-Aid. He said one thing I really need to work on is uh, the audio. So this is new. And there's an arm over here that's new. Um, and uh, so thank you very much, Thomas. Hopefully it sounds better. And uh, I'm just such a novice at this. So we will see if uh, this makes any difference. Uh, it gave me a, another, a few other good, uh, good tips. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And... Um, then subscribe if you're interested in what I might have to say. I've been thinking a lot about what possibly my focus is going to be on. And I don't want it to be so much on me as answering questions that people might have about what I'm going through. Or what their relatives or friends might be going through if uh, they have a terminal illness. Um, so a good book that I read years ago when, uh, during the AIDS crisis, uh, when I had friends that were dying, that was called, uh, on the book is entitled on death and dying. And, um, uh, it's a great book. Uh, the doctor's name was Kubler Ross. I think I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but she was, a, a kind of a pioneer in, uh, in, um, in dealing with that kind of stuff and I believe started the um, um, the um, hostel uh, not hostel uh, hostess no that's, that's not right either I can't remember now uh, where, where, where you um, uh, where people go to die for some reason that has just I have lost it out of my head which happens all the time now so, and I don't think I need these on because <laughs> so I don't know why I have them on. But uh, just to let you know, last night was, ooh, just awful for me. I don't know if it was because I um, of the dust in here or, but boy, it was it was tough to uh, wake up this morning. And it, it was very uncomfortable. So, uh, and as you can probably tell, that's not the cat meowing, that's me wheezing. So... I've got a couple of other items that I'm going to add to the microphone, a windscreen and um, one of that, those pop things so it doesn't, so I'm not popping at you so much. Anyway, if you have any questions for me, write it in the, um, in the comment section and I'll try to um, get on uh, every day or so and answer questions that people might have about what it's like to be an atheist, uh, what it's like to be facing your own death, and uh, and uh, and uh, and we'll go on a, a journey. Maybe I don't know, uh, and maybe nobody will see this, but my family, which is fine. At least maybe they can understand uh, what I'm going through uh, and not have to feel uh, threatened by it, since they're all. Uh, most of them very strong Christians and they don't even talk to me anymore. But uh, the one sister I do have that lives close, it does talk to me and uh, she's a great help. So, and I've got friends. Uh, my, my neighbors are great here. So uh, they're very caring uh, people and uh, uh, they're not church goers either. So <laughs> that's kind of how it is. I want to, I want to say something, uh, to one of the other YouTubers that I wa I've been watching lately, and that's um, uh, Seth and uh, Seth um, and his wife uh, Natalie. He just lost another one of their pets in like two weeks, and I, I feel I'm so sorry, uh, man. That's that's tough. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna put a couple of links uh, in this um, underneath in the in the comments section about um, how you can find Holy Kool-Aid, his, uh, his site, which is one of the ones I really enjoy, and uh, Seth's site, and I can't remember the name of his YouTube channel. I need to write this stuff down or go through it before I get on and start taping. Anyway, um, 
make sure you subscribe. Uh, and I don't know, uh, you'll see the subscribe button. Uh, and if you're interested, and uh, let other people know about the channel if you're interested. So um, until the next time, uh, thanks. Have a good night.